Have you ever wondered what the landlord is responsible for in the case of a fire, flood, or other emergency? Let's meet Joe. Joe leased a pretty car from a local company. One day, Joe was driving down the road, minding his own business, when BAM! He was rear-ended. Who will help Joe? Who will pay for Joe's car repairs? What about his laptop that was in the car and is now destroyed? Joe needs his car to get back and forth to work. Who will pay for Joe's rental car? Insurance, right? But what if Joe doesn't have insurance? What is the difference between a leased car and a leased apartment? Very little, actually. The landlord has very clear obligations to the apartment or the house that they lease. Section 20 of the Residential Tenancies Act, RTA, identifies that a landlord is responsible for providing and maintaining a residential complex, including the rental units in it, in a good state of repair and fit for habitation. That means the landlord must repair the damage to the unit after the fire, flood, or other emergency, but they are not responsible for the personal possessions of residents. Did you know that most fires and floods are caused by residents and or their lifestyle or equipment? Consider this. A resident in 601 was filling a sink to wash dishes when the phone rang. They left the unit in a hurry. The sink overflowed and flooded the unit. It then poured into the five units below. Emergency staff shut off the water, but the damage was extensive. The furniture in many of the units also suffered significant water damage. Who was responsible to pay for the damage? The tenant in 601 is legally responsible. The cost to repair the units could be fifty or $60,000. I really hope they had insurance. What about the furniture in the units below? It wasn't their fault their items were damaged. Who will pay for their things? Just like the car, having insurance on your personal belongings is your best protection. If a tenant does not have insurance, it is their decision, their risk, and their liability. While the landlord is responsible to repair damage to the unit, they are not responsible to provide you with alternate housing accommodations. But what if the landlord was at fault? Are they responsible to help then? The landlord remains responsible to repair the unit so it can be lived in once again. If the damage was caused by the landlord or their agent, they may have liability as determined by the tribunal or a court at a later date. Is the landlord obligated to give the tenant their rent back if the unit cannot be lived in? If a tenant is displaced from the rental unit for any reason, their fault or not their fault, they maintain the responsibility to pay rent on the rental unit until a legal vacate date can be arranged, generally a minimum of 60 days notice. This obligation does not end due to fire, flood, etc. However, if they have insurance, their insurance may cover some of these costs. But it wasn't my fault. Who can help me? Local agencies may be able to assist those in need. Consider contacting the Ministry of Social Services for Emergency Funding or the Canadian Red Cross.